morning. This was one of the most bizarre experiences that I've got in the last few years, sleeping in this very expensive luxury hotel. But anyway, somehow I enjoy it. Uh, today I slept a little bit longer because last night I was in the club and then we went to the city center. It became like one o'clock before I fixed the microphone and everything. And uh, I want to sleep so badly that I gave up the plans for Kosovo for today. And now I woke up early, made the plans already. Get a nice breakfast, Hilton breakfast, of course. And I think I'm ready to go. The plan is to cross the border, then ride around 100 kilometers in the country, on very close to the Macedonian borders road. We'll cross, cross this like a pass, interesting views. And then from there, go to Pristina. In Pristina, uh, another uh, guy will meet me there, so it will be interesting. So, hmm. It is nice here, but I'm here to travel, not to enjoy these luxury hotels. So let's go. As I said, guys, this was one of the most bizarre experiences that I've got. Ah, anyway, the border is very close. The total length of the plan for today is around 200 kilometers. So I have plenty of time, it is 10 to 9, now I have the GPS set to get me out of the city and then it will be easy with the map, now I have a map. Today is 24th of May, it is holiday here, so the traffic should be fine and I will be able to get out of the city, I hope, very easy. So far it is 22 degrees. I hope when I go north it won't be that hot. From here I don't need the GPS, signs Pristina straight on. It took me like 15 minutes to leave the city and now I'm on my way, 78 kilometers to Pristina. But as I told you after the border I'm gonna turn left and right on one. Very interesting road through Prevala and uh, Prizren. The road is not bad at all, it has some bumps and some denivellations from the trucks, but at least it's green. Alright, half an hour later I'm on the border. There are not so many people, so I'll wait. Macedonian side was quick. Let's see now what will be uh, from the Kosovo side. I have heard that they asked for another insurance, but we'll see. It was quick, about 20-30 minutes. I need to make uh, insurance for Kosovo, the green card doesn't work for Kosovo. It cost me 10 euros for 15 days. Here I will need the GPS to guide me on the right uh, route and then I will be fine. This is the highway to Pristina. And this is my direction. So, officially, welcome to Kosovo. This is the highway to Pristina. And now we are talking. I have beautiful road, I have 23 degrees, I have full tank, I have a map, excellent.
This is the place that I was looking for. Fantastic. Exactly like Alps, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know the ABS, but beautiful spot man what a beautiful spot to go on the road like this with ABS on it is <laughs> an adventure because you cannot uh, lock the rear and it goes very fast I do not recommend it Anyway, this was a beautiful spot that I have seen. Now it's time to stop and relax on that coffee over there. This is Prevala, 1550 meters. Let's continue now. Downhill. Beautiful. On this side of the mountain, the road is not that good. A lot of big potholes and sand. So the downhill should be gentle and careful. Now I'm in prison. Touristic town. I plan to make a stop here, eat something, put some coffee, and then continue to Pristina. Busy place, busy place. Shops, people, yeah, normal. <laughs> I have made one really long stop here more than an hour 
I'm exactly here in this place and from here to Pristina I got like uh, 80 kilometers I'll go to secondary roads and the reason I stopped is because the contact person that I've got is busy until 3 o'clock and I don't want to enter the, the town and see in this madness now it's just how many 31 degrees so I prefer to enter when he's already free so I don't want to break his schedule that's why but anyway I stayed here because here I've got internet I've got something to eat to drink and now it's much easier now I can go okay 31 degrees very very hot today right in the middle it is 2 in the afternoon 32 degrees and the ride through these villages it's really nice quiet simple no traffic yeah as I said I have to be in Pristina after 3 so this slow tempo it's really something that I enjoy at the moment Lipian. Okay. Now, too much traffic, not good road, heat. This now is not a pleasure. Good that the highway to Pristina starts from here. It's 20 kilometers, so I'm gonna take it because this is this is not good. This is Pristina. A lot of construction works are going. I was here in 2008. Curious to see the difference. Now I have my host Arton. Follow you. Okay, so he met me here, relax a bit, and uh, now we'll go to his place and uh, we're gonna have some drinks and relax and tomorrow I'll be on my way to Albania This is the plan for now Good morning, another day, another adventure ah, My host Artan was just absolutely brilliant Last night we've got a wonderful dinner It was made like for 20 people and we were just four I ate so much and they bring more and more and more of course I felt again like a super VIP guest hospitality here in the Balkans is just unbeatable now uh, we're gonna ride together first 50 60 kilometers he's on the way to one of the towns which is in my direction I cannot thank them enough for everything that they did for me he and his family excellent people now is the time to move to Albania I book a ferry for tomorrow evening 10 o'clock so I have two days to go from here to the ferry Dures which is not much it's 300 kilometers but because I want to spend a little bit more time in Albania that's why I booked it for tomorrow evening so I'm gonna have an extra day Artan is a great man. He just came back from uh, the trip to Iran and uh, he travels a lot and know very well what people need when they are in a situation like mine. As I said, I cannot thank him enough for everything that he has done to me.
when I made my route from uh, Kosovo to Albania all the guys suggested to take the highway and even Macedonians and uh, guys from Kosovo they all said take the highway this highway because they said the next of the roads will take forever and at least this highway got a beautiful views it's more like a highways in uh, Austria it is still highway but at least got this beautiful views everywhere so I'll keep riding on it at least more 50 kilometers and then I'm gonna turn to Albania all right finally came to the border a bit boring but as I said at least with some views ah interesting I'm greeted from Kaos 